Today, we're going to talk about the difference between your print, your website, and your mobile web app. First, before we begin, let's go back to the start when we first came online as companies with the internet. If you remember, at that time, many marketers made the mistake of believing that they could take what they were doing in print and put it onto the web and kill two birds with one stone. But what we quickly understood and research has since proven is that the way someone interacts with a website is completely different than print. And there's a number of reasons for that. First, we as humans, we don't really like reading from light sources, which means instead of reading word for word like we would with print, we actually scan on websites. The other thing is it's a much smaller screen. So when you take a smaller screen and you put a light source on it, that means that your users are going to scan, not read. Now that brings us to today with mobile web apps. A lot of marketers are making the exact same mistake that they made thinking about print to web that they are from web to web app. They think if you have a mobile optimized website, that will be good enough. And unfortunately, that is simply not the case. Just like with print to web, going to a mobile web app means that you have an even smaller screen and it is on a light source as well. So if you had minutes on your website, you maybe have seconds. In fact, you have 30 seconds or less for an optimal message, which is why I'm trying to make this message as short as possible. In my next video, I'll talk about the difference between your mobile web app and your website and the things that you can be doing to increase engagement. For Inspire Hub TV, I'm Carolyn Hart.